contraption before you is Fodor, a humanoid robot crafted by Russian experts showcasing the ability to wield firearms with both hands. Developed for experimental research, Fodor serves as a final demonstration object designed for extreme situations and space exploration. The robot operates independently or can be guided by an operator through a specialized control suite. Its primary objectives include rescuing individuals in challenging conditions such as collapsed buildings and embarking on space missions. Recently, Fodor faced sanctions when it was uncovered that the robot not only possesses the capability to shoot, but can do so with both hands. This revelation led foreign companies to cease the supply of components, including gears, sensors, engines, cameras, and computers. Despite this setback, Fodor continues to evolve, with developers transitioning to domestic alternatives. The robot's development began in 2014, and it was first presented to the public in 2016. As per specifications, the robot can employ a key to open doors, operate a fire extinguisher, and utilize a saw. Moreover, Fodor can drive a car and even move on all fours, showcasing an intricate performance than most robotic prototypes that we currently know. Additionally, the robot has set a world record by mastering both transverse and longitudinal splits. Standing at a height of 180 centimeters and weighing between 105 and 106 kilograms, Fodor was showcased at the Army 2022 Arms Exhibition in Moscow. Another notable Russian development featured at the exhibition was a robot dog armed with a grenade launcher. This canine-like robot, designed by the Russian company Intellect Machine, specializes in robotics, weaponry, and artificial intelligence. The developers claim the robot dog is capable of accurate shooting and weapon transportation. In civilian applications, it can be used for emergency situations, reconnaissance, navigating through debris, and delivering medical supplies. In combat scenarios, the robot dog excels in target designation, patrolling, and security tasks. However, the U.S. believes that the Russian robot dog resembles a Chinese counterpart, the Unrai Yushu Technology Dog, available for purchase at around $2,000 in online stores. The M81 is draped with fabric to conceal its origin, raising questions about its development. The testing of machines in a combat environment revealed various issues inherent to such technology. While the United States, the United Kingdom, France, and other countries actively develop combat robots to reduce human casualties on the battlefield, Russia has faced some technological lag in this field. However, the introduction of the Euron 9 has significantly narrowed this technological gap. The Armored Tracked Vehicle Cernic is designed for reconnaissance, relay patrolling, guarding territories and important objects, demining, and delineation. Operating in three control modes, manual, automatic, and direct control, this robot weighs no more than 7 tons and can reach speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour with remote control and direct visibility. The machine has an operational radius of up to 10 kilometers and can also serve as a fire support vehicle, transporting ammunition and fuel, evacuating the wounded, and providing guard duty. Its armored hull can withstand gunfire up to 7.62 millimeter caliber. The robot is equipped with interchangeable combat modules armed with 7.62 and 12.7 millimeter machine guns, various types of grenade launchers, and Cornet anti-tank missiles. There's also the option of installing a high-speed 30mm cannon and anti-aircraft missiles. The Combat Robot NCTA is a group of robotic systems united under a single control system, subordinate to a human operator. The operator can choose to control remotely or be with the robot on the front line. The robotic platform with a combat module is operated from a command post, which can be located anywhere. Before the battle, the map of the area and grids of key landmarks are loaded into it. 
In combat, special forces don't need to control every movement. Pressing a button and selecting tasks suffices. The direct combat robot is designed for reconnaissance operations, adjusting fire on enemy positions, and the rapid delivery of ammunition and supplies to hotspots. The combat robot marker is a robotic platform resembling a small tracked robot. The developer boasts that marker can travel 1,000 kilometers, carry loads, and evacuate the wounded. These robots are designed for military operations not only on the battlefield, but also in urban areas, performing well in exercises and actual combat. Markers can function as a remote-controlled machine or autonomously. The developers claim it can operate in autonomous mode for a 1,000-kilometer cross-country journey or 50 hours of operation, handling automatic delivery and unloading of cargo with the help of a hydraulic manipulator. The Russian Robotic Complex Platform M is a remotely controlled robot on a track chassis. It's an armored robot operated from a distance, armed with a grenade launcher and machine gun system for engaging in combat without direct contact with the enemy. The complex is designed for reconnaissance, detection, and engagement of stationary and moving targets, providing fire support, patrolling, and guarding important objects. The latest combat complex includes means of differentiated armor for the chassis and weapon platform, enabling combat operations at night without revealing factors. Thanks for joining us on this thrilling exploration of cutting-edge Russian robotics. From the formidable Fodor to the powerful Uran-9 and the versatile combat robots, Russia is making strides in the world of autonomous machines. The future of warfare and beyond seems promising with these technological marvels. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned to Tech Evolution Center for more gripping insights into the latest developments in science, technology, and beyond. Until next time, keep your curiosity ignited and your imagination soaring. See you in the next episode.